today I'm going to show you guys how to bulk upload a watermark in Adobe Photoshop CC 2015. I have covered how to create a watermark in a previous tutorial. Please do take a look at that if you've not already got one and once you do have a watermark come back to this tutorial but I'm assuming that if you're looking for bulk uploading then you're already at this phase but that shows you how to create a brush preset how to stamp it onto your images individually but in some cases you do need to upload to quite a lot of images say for example you're giving out a lot of photos as previews or you just want to protect all of your work while uploading it online or whatever it is that you're doing I'm sure that you can find a use so to get us started just click file and then select new and have the width and height at 1280 by 720 or 1920 by 1080 it doesn't really make a difference RGB color background contents as transparent and then that looks good to me so just hit OK next drag and drop any image that you want to use into Photoshop it's completely irrelevant at the moment but it is uh, necessary for us to record an action and to watermark the images so just click the check mark and place that and leave it there like so next click window and then select actions so we're going to record an action within the action panel and we're going to tell Photoshop to remember to bring in our watermark drop it on top of the picture save close and then that's it so first create a new folder and name it watermark you can name it whatever you want but just for the sake of this I'm going to call it watermark and then hit OK and then select create a new action next to it and then call that one watermark again call it whatever you want leave the set as watermark and set the function key to whatever you want to use so for me I'm going to use shift and F2 we are going to be using a, a bulk upload method anyway but if you just wanted to place a watermark quickly say you're in the middle of editing an image where batch uploading or bulk uploading isn't possible and you just need to pop a watermark down quickly then you can just shift F2 and it will place the watermark for you so it's really good if you just need to place it quickly so now we're going to start recording the action so just hit record and then it's starting to record so we want to bring in the watermark first of all so go to file and then select place embedded and then wherever your watermark is so mine's on my desktop saved as a .png so I'm going to click place and that's going to place that onto the picture for me so firstly just hit enter so it records a place and then if you want to resize it, say for example it was a bit too small or it was a bit too big, then press Ctrl and T for transform and then hold shift if you want to rescale in scale and just bring it down or bring it back up, whatever you want to do. So say I wanted to make mine a little bit bigger and then move it to the right a couple of pixels by using the arrows. Say for example I just wanted to put that there like that and then hit enter it's now got a transform action which has been recorded as well so that's really useful so now that's pretty much done we want it to save so go to file and then save as now make sure you don't change the file name it is so important that you don't because if you do what's going to happen is it's just going to save over the same image over and over and over again and you'll wonder where all of your pictures are gone so have it as untitled hyphen one leave it as it is right click on your desktop or wherever you want to edit your watermark photos and then go to new folder i'm just going to call this one for watermarking and then select the folder open and save depending on which type of file you want it to save as so if you want to go back into it later on save it as a .psd and you will get the for the, the file exactly as it is here so you'll be able to edit the watermark and the background picture individually which is really good but if you just want to save them quickly and get them out fast save it as a .png jpeg whatever you want to do and then just hit save and then press ok so that's that pretty much recorded now we want to get rid of this so just click it away do you want to save nope and that's added save and close so that's the action recorded so we want to press stop and that is now saved in photoshop for us to use so let's test it out get rid of the actions panel and then press file 
automate batch and then the set is watermark that you named earlier the action is watermark that you named earlier the source folder will be the one on the desktop that we just created so for watermarking so that's there I'll go back to the desktop drag in the pictures that I want to edit into the four watermarking folder bring it back into Photoshop select and then just hit OK and then OK again and just let it run its course so that's done that let's hope that it was all correct it looked all right but you never know so minimize Photoshop go back into the full watermarking and now you'll see that we've got a copy of each image so I'll hold control select that one select that one all while holding control and then hit enter to view the images there's one there's two there's three there's four so as you can see it's a little bit smaller so I would have gone back re-recorded it and made the watermark a little bit bigger but it does vary from image to image and save it as a .psd if you want to edit it but I'd still probably just leave it as it is it looks all right to me so I hope you like this video guys I hope it makes your lives a little bit easier if it did make your life easier then please hit that subscribe button I hope you like this video peace out that's gonna place that on me on me onto the picture for me